five ways to put the narcissist in their place. Five ways to show the narcissist that they are less important or clever than they think they are. Five ways to show them that they are not better than other people and they should not be acting in such a confident and proud way. One, don't react. The narcissist will entice and tempt you by deception and trickery. The narcissist will deliberately try to annoy and taunt you. They will persecute and exasperate you with unjust, malicious and persistent attacks. They will torment you with insults and ridicule. They will constantly give you bait. They will constantly try to trigger you because it gives them narcissistic supply. They get off on it. They enjoy watching you experience discomfort and distress. They enjoy intimidating you. It feeds their ego. It makes them feel powerful and important. They enjoy devaluing and degrading people. They enjoy controlling people. So don't react to their attempts to entice or irritate you. Because when you do that, it gives them something to use against you. Two, don't deviate from the subject of conversation. Don't follow a course, principle or standard or topic that is different from what you intend. Don't depart from your established course. Continue, especially when it is difficult to do so. Remind them to stick to the subject of the conversation. Don't let them change it because that is what they will try to do. They will make personal attacks or false accusations. They will try to hurt you so that you can't argue anymore. They will try to make you uncomfortable so that you will never confront them again. So keep bringing them back to the issue, topic or task that is currently being discussed or is in the current priority. Don't attack them back. They will use it against you. They will try to make you lose control. And then they will blame you. So stay calm and composed. Three. Don't make excuses for the narcissist. Don't allow yourself to believe something that is not true. Don't allow them to give you a mistaken impression. Don't let them gaslight you. Don't let them mislead you. Don't fail to admit to yourself that something is true. Don't accept the improper actions or behavior. If you think the narcissist is lying, you must investigate it. You must find out the truth. Avoid being influenced by feelings of affection or yearning. Base your perspectives on facts. Don't make excuses for them.
four. Call them out. Draw attention to their unacceptable actions or behavior. They will try to gaslight you. They will try to make you doubt your own memory, perception and sanity. But you have to stand your ground. You have to correct them. Document everything. Share the information with people who may understand your perspective. People who you can trust. Try to communicate with a narcissist while other people are around so that other people can witness the narcissist's perspectives. When other people begin to realize who the narcissist is, the narcissist will begin to back down. The narcissist will try to make false and damaging statements about you, but anyone who believes their vision of events isn't worth having in your life. You will find people who are more authentic and sincere. Five, don't be afraid. The narcissist will use fear to control you. They will give you a feeling of anxiety concerning the outcome of something, which may cause you to avoid doing something. Narcissists are liars. They deceive people. They tell lies. But if you give them enough rope, eventually they will hang themselves. If you allow them to continue on their course, they will suffer its consequences. They constantly contradict themselves. They constantly do the opposite of what they said they're going to do. They constantly go against what they've said. And people start to pick up on it. They start to notice that the narcissist is fake. They're not authentic. They're just telling people whatever they think they want to hear so that they can get the outcome that they want. You must set strong boundaries with the narcissist. You must put them in their place. Be clear about what your boundaries are. Be clear about what is not okay for you. Don't be afraid to say no. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.